just a few hours ago, SpaceX won the Human Landing System, or HLS contract, to land the first woman and next man on the moon. They beat both Blue Origin with its national team and Draper. In this video, we will discuss why NASA chose SpaceX alone to win this contract and answer the big question, was NASA forced to pick SpaceX? Let's get into SpaceX it. SpaceX bid for a firmed fixed price of 2.89 billion with SpaceX paying for the other half of development costs. Now this is way lower than Dynetics or the national team and considering Starship is a lot larger and more advanced, it looks like a bargain. But remember, NASA only chose one lander spacecraft when they said that they would pick two and SpaceX lowered their bid price, so NASA could only afford one lander, and only afford the cheapest one, which was the SpaceX Lunar Starship Lander. But don't get me wrong, NASA did not just choose them as they are the cheapest. SpaceX has said that for the first crewed mission, Artemis 3, they can have a maximum of four astronauts on the surface for an entire week, extending the surface time each mission. But before they do this, they have promised many test flights. Another reason why NASA chose them is because loads of new technologies will be tested, like in-space fuel transfer, which SpaceX will do at least twice per mission. But for me, the best news of last night was the news that NASA is still very much on track to land humans back on the moon by 2024. So in summary, yes, NASA was forced to pick SpaceX because it was the cheapest option and the only one that they could afford. But by no means is Starship a bad vehicle and I think it is the best choice that NASA could have gone for if money did or did not exist. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.